Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of my Fortune Street playthrough. Last time, I took down the Queen Bunny board, and... won because of bad computer AI. To put it lightly, as I definitely would not have won that round if I was against human players. Today I'm going to be taking down the Primitive Era board, which again is from the Gorgeous King game on the PS1 from 1998. And this board actually looks somewhat good because it's not tiny for once. So let us begin. Let me just move my mic as well. Problem is the reason why my keyboard is so loud is just because it's right next to my mic is. It's the only place I can put it in my setup. Otherwise the mic is just too far away. Anyways, I brought Luigi, Jessica, and Elena back. I got a zero. <laughs> uh, I've been wanting to pick Jessica for a while again. I was going to pick her on a different board, but because of just how rough the board went in practicing, I just decided no. I wanted Birdo instead. Uh, I haven't fully played this board, but again, I have practiced it, so I know roughly how it works. Although I did say that for Dreamworld, and then I completely neglected the middle part, but that was because no one ever went there. Okay, so this board is basically considered of one large section and then a bunch of mini subsections. The mini subsections each have a suit. The warp will take you to the opposite corner, being up here. And again, each section has a suit in. These mini subsections are quite good to get a control of, but don't neglect the rest of the board because, well, you will have to pass through them if you want to get through stuff quickly. And pretty much every district on this board has a use in some way, shape, or form. Okay, well, I don't really want to land on that, because I can't gain the property. I don't really want to pay Luigi. No, okay, well, I guess I'm getting the one in the green district, then. This way I could get the top right section quickly. But honestly, I cannot remember the last time I picked any of these computers for a board, which is why I picked all of them. Luigi, I'm pretty sure the last board he had was, you know, ages ago on like Lakeside. Not Lakeside, Lake Mountain. I'm pretty sure Jessica's last board was Cloverland. And then Elena, I can't even remember. Now, I was going to pick Mario over Luigi, but I'm like, when did I last play against Luigi? Whereas Mario, I knew what board I last played against him, which was Casino Town. Now, the advantage that human players have here is that the computers prioritise getting their suits as quickly as they can. I didn't expect it to say anything again. So, this actually gives me a, a slight advantage, because I can just go and get properties. But I will just be rolling again over here. I'm a high roller today, am I? Uh, I could get two in here, actually, and I think I will. Should I? Uh, I'm actually gonna go here instead. I was considering getting the District of Two, but when it's only a hundred, 
it's not really worth it. And this way I'd rather get around the board quicker so I can, you know, pick up properties and not have to pay people in the early game. So, no idea why Elena did that. Should have got the suit instead of paying someone. He's probably going to waste it. Yes. I mean, it's not the worst one. The worst thing to build, as I say, every time is an estate agency. It's pretty much useless for most of the game. Circus tents can be scary, but the thing is, if you upgrade one in a position like that, everyone's just going to avoid it as much as they can. Oh, that's annoying. I really should have got the property, but I don't want to have to miss a second suit. I'm already going to have to go around one section again. Hopefully I don't regret this decision. But I reckon we're in for another long game, because this is actually a fairly large board. And I'm kind of excited to play this one, because I actually like big boards, regardless of what most people think. Most people prefer the medium-sized boards. But my stance on it, small boards I absolutely despise. I absolutely despise small boards due to the fact that it's just... Whoever can get the best section to work with quickly is going to win. Yeah, and that's why I didn't bother for that district, because I had a feeling I would get blocked anyways. Okay, well that's a bit of a rough shop to put in my path. Well, I don't think it matters. Uh, I'm taking this. I want the checkpoint. Also, I've never really gone into depth on what I think the best things to build are. But it does really determine on board. Also, this is Elena's first shot. But if I go for a tier list, so in F tier, estate agency. Completely useless, it's a waste of a build. Under no circumstance would you ever build an estate agency. Even if it's on an island, even if it's a place where you can have a high chance of landing on it, it's not worth it. Because the estate agency is basically just a balloon port, but you can only buy properties. So why would you not build a balloon instead? Uh, I don't class anything as E tier because the rest of the builds all have a use in any way or not in any way, but in some aspect or another. So for D tier, I would put the home. The home has a very niche use and it's only to really trap people on islands. There's not really a point in building a home unless you got like an island that you want everyone to get stuck on but most of the time when a computer builds a home it actually helps the opposition more than it hinders the number of times where I've seen someone just build a home right next to a suit teleport everyone over and it's just what's the point I'm actually gonna go for the cheaper one uh, and I'm pretty much forced to use my Suit Yourself card, but that's fine with me. Uh, also in D tier, I'd put the Circus Tent. Circus Tent has a very niche use again. Because again, you need people to land on it, and the chance of you landing on it and making it pricey is very low. But you get it in a very good place that's hard to avoid. You've got a pretty much a game-ending square. Especially if you can get it up to 2,000. Uh, I don't class anything a C tier either, because there's nothing that's just truly average. The home and the circus tent are just D tier because they're niche. The rest of the other builds, the three star shop, the checkpoint, 
and the balloon port are very useful in their own ways. So, in B tier, I'd put the Free Star Shop. The Free Star Shop can be abused on the original game. Which makes it a bit problematic. When playing online, because if you play a board with vacant lots, everyone just abuses the tactic. And it's really not fun. But, because of it, it makes them very useful, and you can just instantly win a board that has a vacant lot on Like You could literally just get one vacant lot on the whole board and you could win by just constantly buying 99 stock in it, renovating it, selling the stock, re-renovating it, rinse and repeat. It's actually what I did a lot of the time when playing certain boards, like Robin Hood Ruins, I do it all the time. Also, is my recording definitely going? Yes, okay. And I can't lie, it's a very cheap tactic, which I haven't renovated a shop to a free... I haven't renovated a vacant lot to a free star shop, I don't think. Actually, no, I have. I did it on Casino Town, but that's because I was intending for it to remain one for the rest of the game, but then I got hit by a shop down card, so I just renovated it back. And then we have Balloon Paw and Checkpoint. And Checkpoint is A tier because it's very useful. You can put it on pretty much any board in any place and it will have a use. However, it does have one small problem. It's a very slow starter and if you put one on a place where barely anyone goes, it just doesn't really do much. But you put it on a board like this where you have to get a suit, it's gonna make money. It takes a while, but once it gets to a decent price, it's going to basically be your biggest money maker for most of the game. And it's the only shop on the whole board that you don't need someone to land on. So people passing through it giving you money is just extremely useful, which is why I quite often build them, because you start off slowly, but once it gets high, you start getting money. I, no, I can't even afford that. Well, I had to waste my Suit Yourself card, but it doesn't matter, and I get a fast promotion anyways. Okay, well, I don't really have anything together, so I'm just going to find a district that I have a property in that I can make a quick profit off of. I think this one will do, just because I might have to pay someone. Imagine I get another suit yourself from round the blocks and I can just skip the heart again. Although I probably won't if I can pick up properties in there. Oh, I forgot to mention tax office as well. Tax office is B tier in in this mod. If it's the actual game, though, where it's 10%, it's S tier. It's by far the best space you can build on the regular game. But on this mod, it's B tier because it's only 5%, so you get half of what you would usually get. And landing on it as well gives you 5% of your net worth, which uh, can add up to quite a bit, especially if you're at 10,000. You land on a tax office that you own, you're getting 500. Luigi's really burning both of his suit yourselves. I wouldn't be doing that if I was him. Or he's just going to get a third one. But Balloon Port and regular Tax Office are both S tier. Tax Office is the absolute best to build in the original game because those spaces can be detrimenting for your opposition to land on at the start of the game. If someone lands on a Tax Office before you've even got a promotion, they basically lose 10% of their starting cash. And because it's net worth, it constantly causes them to have to sell properties. And trust me, I've seen it happen so many times where someone has landed on a tax office on an early round of Robin Hood Ruins and just completely run out of money. That was a bad roll. Okay. 
Wow, being a cheapskate, are we? And not even going through my checkpoint? I see how it is. And balloon port's just S tier as well. But on a bigger board like this, it's much harder to land on a balloon port, so I'd rather build the, the checkpoints instead. And I want to get all three of them if I can. I don't think I can roll a quote-unquote bad number on my next turn, because if I roll a 1, I get the, the property in the district. If I roll a 2, I get the venture card. If I roll a 3, I'm just going to the arcade. A 4 will get me a property, and a 5 would get me a property, and a 6 would just land my own. Yeah, I'm going to buy this just so that I have something down here, and prevent Jessica from getting 3. Well, she's still going to buy Luigi's property out at some point, I reckon. If I land on the warp, then no big deal. No, I don't really have an area. Looks good. Right, this could be an issue. If Jessica gets another one in there, that's going to make getting a promotion really difficult, especially because Jessica is a very strong opponent. Although she should have really sold all of the stock there because, well, she's not going to invest. Well, that's annoying. I kind of wish I went up now and got two in the other districts so, so I would have skipped Luigi's stuff, but oh well. I'm honestly considering heading left and seeing if I can get some more properties down at that bottom left circle. Because I don't have a district of two. I have a decent amount of properties, but I don't have anything in the same district. Which means I can't really make anything expensive. Okay, that works for me. That gives me some of my money back. I don't see anyone snatching that shop for a while, but go off. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna buy this and then auction it, because that's all of my money, and Luigi will probably get free there if I auction it, but... With everyone getting to the bank... They will probably bid quite a bit on it, and it could cause someone to run out of money as well, especially because it's a pretty decent shop value, and if they're like, oh, Luigi could get free in here, we need to stop this, then I feel that that would actually help me in the long game. Plus, I've already got past the worst property, so if Luigi does happen to purchase it, or win the auction, rather, it would mean that I won't land on it. Okay, that's glorious for me, actually. That gives me some more money to go around with. I literally just took the lead, Jessica. In fact, you were in the lead until then. Because this is just too expensive for me to have, and I'd rather get some other properties. Elena, you have 1300 Well, okay, that completely failed. I thought that Elena would at least try to bid a little bit on here. I didn't think Luigi would get it for 680. That's actually a problem now. Because I thought Elena would actually try to stop Luigi from getting that. Okay, I'm going up here. I'll get this. Two in a district, but it doesn't matter because Luigi's already invested in one, so I can't really do much there.
A bit worried about Jessica because if she gets free in that red district, it's going to be a nightmare. Luigi ducked a promotion to get a shot. Interesting. Wait, doesn't he have a suit yourself so he can get away with that? No, he doesn't. It's Jessica who has one. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, we've got an issue. We have a problem. Okay, well I might as well grab this. This is my first venture card. Pay a hundred to go to the bank. Uh, no. Okay, everyone lands on this one, which is nice. It's actually a pretty expensive shop as well. Right, can someone actually go through my checkpoint, please? Oh, gosh. Okay, Luigi is ducking suits just to get promotion. Or... Yes, Luigi is ducking suits to get promotions. Yes, well done, Brain. Luigi is ducking suits to get properties, is what I meant to say. She just got the district, didn't she? Well, I'm f putting my stock there. That is a problem. That is a ginormous problem, and it's surrounding the bank as well, so she's going to block us from getting our promotions. It's not good. Not good at all. You know what? I'm fine with this. Yeah, but this is going to be one ginormous headache for the three of us. What we need is Jessica to run out of money and then have to auction the other shops she has on the board. Because if she has only that district to invest in, it will be very low chance of her doing so. Oh, if she lands on Luigi's 300, that would be fantastic. Okay, I get two over here now, that's good. Maybe I could get the third one if I get lucky. Oh yeah, and you can't just circle an island, because first of all, that's lame. And second of all, it would just mean that if someone got an entire section, they would just loop it for the whole game. Wow, Luigi actually built something useful. He's luck. Is that all the money he has? Ooh. I feel kind of conflicted. I want Luigi to run out of money, but I want Jessica to run out of money more. And if Jessica lands on Luigi's 300, then, well, she's not going to run out of money. Or rather, Luigi won't run out of money, which means that uh, his properties will remain on the board. Okay, you guys are being really cheap. You do realise you can go through that checkpoint, you know. Like, it's not even in a bad place, it's just the computers are abusing warps. Okay, Luigi has literally got no money. Okay, Luigi's got to get rid of a property. And it'll most likely, it'll be Elena and I who bid on it. Which one's he gonna get rid of? Oh, come on. You really did that one? There's no way I'm gonna win that auction. Elena's gonna bid like 300 on it. My limit's 250. 
Told you I wouldn't win that. I'm not spending more than that on a shop that will just get bought out later. I already got the club as well, so I don't need to go in there yet. But I did make her pay quite a bit for it, so... That's something, plus that 160 is easy to avoid. She didn't get the heart. That's actually really good. Okay, I like this. That makes me just go straight over to the spade. And if I get a bad number and have to pay Jessica's 100, I'm just going to go the other way. I get card 5 or 57, that'd be funny. Everything's more expensive. Oh, my frames. I'm picking this up because it gives me two in a district. I don't know why my frames drop all the time when recording, and it's it's not what causes the sound lag. I still want to know what causes that. It's not the frame dropping, because it's happened multiple times now on other videos, and I have been testing my recordings now to make sure there's no sound lag before I start, because sound lag is really annoying. Oh wait, no, what am I on about? Luigi's only got one suit. He could easily run out of money again. Right, well, Luigi's not going to run out of money anymore. Uh, what do you mean? He literally has 86 cash. Well, that sucks. So no one is going through that checkpoint at all, which is kind of annoying. That top right island is going to be gnarly as well if Elena gets another property in there, which she just did. Okay, well we've got another problem on the board. question is, do I freeload off her or do I freeload off Jessica? Because I obviously can't do anything myself if I've only got a district of two to rival them. But both of them are, haven't really got that much money, so maybe I should invest in my own. She can't buy it. That's the other thing. They don't have any money. Okay. Oh, that's a bad card. All the 40s are bad, except for 47, which can still be technically bad. Okay, that doesn't matter. I know I have two there, but that hurts Luigi way more than it hurts me. I've got a very difficult task next turn, though, because uh, Jessica's district is kind of in the way. So I need an 8, I think, to skip it. Oh, and if I have to land on that 300 or 400, I'm not doing that. Right, the 100 I can deal with, but I don't really want to land on it. Problem is, if I land on the bank as well, what's going to happen? Oh, I could have to pay something next turn. You know what? That works. Depends what I roll, though, because I could still land on the 300 easily next turn. Okay, let's see. A three. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. I skip the 400, and hopefully I don't get unlucky and land on the 300, but I probably will, because usually when I take risks, this I usually get unlucky. As evident by Queen Bunny on my failed recording. If Luigi doesn't run out of money, I'm gonna call cheat. I'm gonna call hacks. Wait, 
which is going... Oh, wait, both the sushi needs are over there. Yes! Thank you. Problem is, I've got to go to Luigi's difficult section as well now. Okay, I don't see any of them investing for a while, so I'll go put it in my district again. Uh, I can't remember what arcade game it is. I'm just going to go here. Hopefully, I can avoid Luigi. Oh, it's Slurper Drone. Interesting. Take that one. Hopefully, I don't get unlucky again, but there are a lot of expensive properties on the board, and neither of them are mine, so it's going to be a rough round for me. I'm also a bit annoyed at Elena for not bidding on that shop that gave Luigi free in the district, even though I'm the one who auctioned it, because she had enough money to, you know, actually bid on it, and I thought she would. Okay, well, I didn't win, but neither did the two that I actually want to run out of money, so it kind of works, I guess. Luigi's just slowly generating money as well. He lands on the balloon. Typical. You have one coin left to your name now, my guy. Is this really the wisest idea? thing is, everyone's landing on my shops, but they're, they're really cheap, but I guess getting some sale is better than none. Right, I need a good roll. Yeah, absolutely skipping that while I can. <laughs> See, everyone's just landing on mine. They're all bad shops, but they're actually landing on them, which is usually what doesn't happen. Usually no one lands on my shops. Yes, he ran out of money. Excellent. He's probably going to sell the shop he just bought, and I will be taking it. Okay, well, I'm taking that one. I easily have more money than Elena. Wow, you didn't even try. <laughs> I will gladly take that for only a 20 gold loss. If I just start collecting districts of two on the board, I feel that would be good. That was a very lucky landing, as was that. Okay, so Jessica's not going to run out of money, especially after that. But Luigi could run out of money again, which would be good. One, seven, okay, still not bad. In fact, that's really good. That gets me free in a district, and I'm absolutely going for the, the blue district down at the bottom. And I could start investing as well. Give me that. If I roll a two, I will be getting that vacant lot, because the diamond is the only suit on the board that will not be an issue for me. Okay, well Jessica's definitely... Well, Jessica's gonna start investing now, because Elena's just funding her enough. Oh, uh, Luigi's auctioning another property. Yep, I'm taking that. Easy. I'm surprised Jessica's not bidding on it. Gets me two in a district again. I could actually take over this bottom left quadrant. Oh yeah, I totally will be taking over that district. Someone went through the checkpoint! <laughs> Finally! Finally! 
Lol. I don't even know why I said that, it really wasn't that funny. Yeah, I think that's the right move. Oh, yes, please. Sure, I, I need more money, so, yeah. <laughs> I got six as well. Oh, man, Lena could have to sell something. She landed on the 400, I think. Yeah, she did. Elena totally just landed on that 400. So, Jessica, looks like this game is going to be between you and me. This will be very exciting, I reckon, as long as I don't get unlucky. He didn't get the spade. And he's already got this. Oh my gosh, Luigi. Yeah, Jessica will start investing in District A, so I gotta be careful of her. However, she has a massive blind spot on the board where she has absolutely no properties. Uh, I'm actually not gonna buy this because I don't really want it, and I'd rather hold on to my stock. I've got plenty of properties at the moment. I don't really need a nine, a, a 590 when that will just, you know, put me in a bit of a rough situation. And I need to save some money. I need to save some money for Jessica's section. Plus, I might not be able to promote for a long time. Because if she makes an expensive space there, I'm not taking any chances. She's obviously going to put it in her own, because she's got a district, so why wouldn't she? Yeah, and she bought 99, so second that she can start... So second that she lands on a property, she will invest. And because it's surrounding the bank, it makes it very difficult for the rest of us to get a promotion. Another bad card. Well, I'm definitely glad I didn't buy that 590 now. Oh, yeah. The other reason is I want to save my money for auctions because, well, I need to outbid Jessica. Luigi is playing a very risky game. I think she got an investment. Well, she could have, and in her situation, she 100% should have taken that investment. So I'm not why I'm not entirely sure why she went that way. Ooh, stop broker square. Don't mind if I do. Right, Jessica really should have landed on her own. <laughs> Rip. Okay, well, what are you going to do now, Luigi? Yeah, you're just going to skip the club again. Luigi is getting no sales because he's running out of properties, and he might actually have to sell his District of Three in a moment. So he has to land on another expensive one, he's going to have to sell that District of Three. Okay, well I have the money to get through here at the moment. Yeah, I'm honestly skipping that 200. Even if I land on the 110, it won't be as annoying. That looked like she was going to roll something else, and it changed to a 3 at the last second. Well, unfortunately, I did just fund Luigi a bit, so he will be able to uh, 
survive my target. In fact, Jessica just paid me 120, which is good. Because if I land on one of those two 100 spaces, I basically just got the money to afford it. Which is fine with me. Uh, no, I'm not buying this. I know Elena could get it, but I don't really care if I can just avoid that section, and I will. So I want to hold on to my stock at the moment, so I can invest. Okay, well, he absolutely should use that card. Except you definitely shouldn't have done it on that one. Okay. But yeah, that card saved Luigi from having to auction more. Oh, nice. Thank you, Jessica. I would have done the District C shop that he has there. He would have got so much more money and not give Elena a potential district. I'm just going to go up here again. Elena. I actually got really lucky in that section. I didn't pay her anything. I just paid Luigi and then left. Go through my checkpoint, please, and thank you. Yay. It's finally making me money. Oh, if that hits District E, that would be funny. I wouldn't mind. Oh. Well. At least it wasn't Jessica's district, question mark. You know, considering that I haven't really had a section to work with, I'm actually doing pretty well at the moment. But that is mostly because of my good dice. Oh, here we go. Oh, she said no. Ooh. I will be taking this. And I will be getting free in this district. Now I can have two suits that I block. Oh, I crashed the stock. Oh, well. I was hoping I wouldn't do that, but oh well. <laughs> oh no, it's all falling apart. Okay, I guess that's fine. You have to go in there eventually, so... I'm really surprised Jessica didn't invest, by the way. I thought she would. She could have made a really expensive space very difficult to avoid early on. Okay, what property are you going to buy now? Probably the 590. Yes. Oh, it's a 530. Why do I think it was a 590? Well, it is meant to be a 590, I guess. It's a crystal ball shop, so... All my really terrible, small little shops around the board. Ah, oh, damn it. I have to crash my stock again. No, oh, it didn't even go down that time. That works. Okay, I was a bit worried there. Luigi gives 10% of his ready cash to Elena. Although, if I carry on the way that I am, I'm going to have two segments that are really difficult for the computers to uh, navigate through. Oh, well, if only I was near her district. Sadly, I'm not. Okay. We use balloon or okay, balloon. 
don't have to crash my stock this time because it's 10 per stock in there. Okay, I would like to invest though because I keep having to sell it slowly. And he got his property back at least, so that prevents Elena getting it. Jessica, can you go through my checkpoint? That's not what I meant. No way Jessica runs out of money. Unless I, you know, can start investing. I I'm going for the investment. I, I really want to invest. Yeah, let's make that not 25. Let's make that a much better shot. There we go, got some money. And I can go invest again. If I get that vacant lot, that would be absolutely fantastic. In fact, I might honestly make that one another checkpoint, even if it's a bit late. Well, that's very convenient for you, isn't it, Elena? Now that you don't have to go to the bottom right section and can just get a promotion. Okay, can you actually go through my checkpoint, please, and not use the warp, for goodness sake, Jessica? Is it really that hard to actually go through the checkpoint? The One of the only two I don't own in here, that's annoying. Thank you, finally. Somebody actually went through it. She rolls a one, that would be entertaining. Oh, I've got the difficult task of let's dodge Jessica's district. Well, Luigi succeeded in dodging half of it. You know, I'm not actually not doing too badly at the moment though, considering that Jessica has a domination around the bank. Oh man, if he gets that warp, he might throw. Oh, is he gonna throw? He might go and buy a property for no reason, or try to buy one for no reason. Nope, he didn't throw. Okay. I thought he would try and buy the vacant lot, and then be stuck in my district. He rolled a four, and he was in there, he would have had to sell something. Well, Luigi finally found his way to the bank. Okay, she needs the club, which is in Elena's section, so hopefully she'll lose a bit of money there. That is completely fine. In fact, that is really good. There we go, now there's an 850 shop that they have to go past if they want the diamond. Yeah, and I'll, I'll do this. You know, I think I could actually... Uh, I don't really want to though. I could afford the... The worst shop that Jessica has in there, but I don't really want to land on it. If worse comes to the worst, then I probably will avoid it. Four times buyout card, which is sadly going to be wasted because Luigi doesn't have enough to do a buyout, really. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to do it. Actually, let's do it. Let's buy it out. Let's break up her district.
And then I'm just going to bail out of District E. And then I'll put it... Usually I don't break up districts, but when it's in a really good placement and it's belonging to a very, very strong opponent, I pretty much need to. Because the second that Jessica can start investing in there is when this game goes down the drain. Oh. Yeah, whenever you land on a balloon, on a custom board, it just slows the whole game down. Luigi, you are running out of money again. It would be a shame if you had to start breaking up your districts. Well, she's going to get the last shop on the board. What is she going to build with it, though? That's what I want to know. Okay. Nice, I skipped the whole district again. Uh, district G is where I'm putting my stock this time, so that I make another area that's difficult for them to get past. Sure, don't mind buying more stock, even if it is 10% higher than normal. Put some in District A. No. I'll just do this. You're welcome for buying that out, Elena. Because that would be a hundred. Luigi, you literally bought the last one. You were the one who bought- oh no, it was Jessica who bought the last one. And then she's like, I wanted that last shop, I had designs on it. You are literally the one who bought it. Luigi bought the penultimate one, that's why I got confused, because they did it on the same turn. Ah, uh, I'm just gonna go up, because investing... There's a 300 over there that they could get unlucky and land on. Save the lane off. Lena would have had to pay a combined total of 300 if it wasn't for me, so she should absolutely be thanking me right now. I need to get through District H as quickly as I can before she starts sprucing up over there. I could trade Jessica a district back, which would be funny. If I just trade the two shops she has at the heart, and then I trade the one that I bought from her. Nah, I'm ducking promotion for investing. There we go, can max that one out. It's pretty much going to force them to go on my checkpoint now. No, ideally I roll a 1 next turn, because if that happens, I'm just going to freeload off Jessica. Or Elaine, actually, I think Elaine would be better. 
don't know if Jessica will still invest in her district now that I broke it up. Well, Luigi, you're in a very rough place. You roll a five, you've got a very difficult decision you have to make. I would really like a one on this turn, but we'll see. Sadly not, but that's not a bad roll, unless I get a terrible card. That's a really good card, actually. Which one's more expensive? That's 700 or this one down... Oh, this one's more. Okay, we do this one then. Easy. I'd also really like card 79, because then I'll just buy out Jessica's tax office. Four times buyout is gone. I will be prepared to use the five times buyout on that tax office as well. Okay, well he got out of that one, but he's not out of the woods yet. He's still got another difficult section he has to go through. Oh dear. It's not what I wanted her to get. Oh yeah, my next investment that I get will be going in that 27, so that it's harder for her to buy it back. Here's the way I see it. No one's going to my section. Let's just close shops. Like the worst case scenario is Luigi lands on one of the first ones in there, but he doesn't get past the 800 at all. Jessica could land on one, I think. Just the cheap ones again. She can't hit the 900. Yeah. yeah, Luigi could only have hit the 18, so I think Jessica can, yeah, Jessica can land on the 142 if she rolls an 8. She didn't. Okay. Where's she going to invest? I reckon Elena's district. Nope, she's actually doing the smart thing. She's forced to auction a shop. That's excellent. Yes, she did the tax office. Why does Elena bid once and then just go, oh, whoops, silly me. I was expecting to pay five times for that, so I will gladly pay two times. Do I leave that as a tax office? I think I will, honestly. I know the renovation fee is only 50, but I don't care. Uh, well, uh, I'm not paying you 200, Luigi, sorry. Ooh. Healy, can you roll a high number and head towards my direction, please? That would save me a lot of time and hassle. Because if I can skip that club, that would be very nice. Especially because if Elena lands on a property that she owns, she will start investing in there. And I don't really want that. Wrong way. Pick your poison, Luigi. Yeah, I really need to invest in District F next. If I can make that whole section there a nightmare for them, it will be very difficult for them to get the diamond for the whole game. She's got the same difficult choice. 
Am I near any sleep squares? No. That's really good for me then. One, please? No. Well, thankfully she did the one on the edge, which is the easiest one to avoid, but unless I can 100% skip past that, I won't be going in there anymore. Especially because Jessica's district at the bank is no longer a problem now that it's neutralised. Although she can still invest into it, I guess. Perfect. And he has to auction shops. Thank you, Luigi. Please sell your shops as I would like to buy them. Well, Elena, it's you and me going to be bidding up to five times, but I'm not letting you have that. That's the one I wanted. And yes, I will be bidding. I'm going up to 900 on this one. In fact, I'll just let Jessica compete with her and just wait to see how high she goes. I reckon Jessica will bid it way over the 800s as well. You're doing a really good job, Jessica. Keep going. You are doing even better than I thought, I, than I thought, Jessica. Yeah, that's my limit, so I would have stopped there. I'm impressed, Jessica. I didn't think you would bid it that high. I have to give you major props for that. I did not think you would bid that anywhere near as high as that. Well played. Made her pay way more for that, and she might have to auction a shop if she uh, goes to another section of the board. Elena still got the shop, but that was a really good play by Jessica. Yeah, Elena, I'm not letting you have this one as well. Yeah, sorry, you don't need another District of Three. So I will be blocking her from getting that one. I think it's safe to say Luigi's out the game. Oh, nice. Thank you. Oh, you know what? I I'm going to be mean. This is really mean. And he might land on this, of course, which would make him pay more. But this way, he's guaranteed to sell another shop unless I pay him. Oh, never mind. He locked out big time. So did Elena. Lol. Still had to pay something though. Yeah, I was really unlucky. I was hoping I was gonna get Luigi to auction another shop because he would have had to go through the checkpoint. But sadly it's not gonna happen anymore. Bye, Healy. I don't think you did anything. You can 
still roll a one, I guess. Oh, you smart. That was, no, that was smart. It didn't lag this time, actually. Luigi got very lucky there, but at the end of the day, he got really unlucky in the first place. And the fact that he landed on the 900 was really bad luck for him. I don't even know what shop he would have sold next. Probably the one in Elena's district again. Wait, what? You could have got the club, and you were past the worst property in there. And Elena can't invest because she has no money. I don't understand the play there, Jessica. Yeah, no. I will, however, be protecting this. Yeah, the question is, is she gonna skip my section, which is the most logical thing that she should do, or is she gonna go for the spade because it's closer? Oh yeah, and I've made the diamond a complete nightmare for them, so uh, good luck going there, guys. I just wanna head to the bank, honestly. I don't care about Jessica's district anymore, it's nowhere near as big of a problem as it was a few minutes ago. And right, buying out that district, I sold all my stock, that's barely gonna give me any, yeah, 20, oh no, boohoo. Oh I really want Elena to run out of money, because she has so many shops on the board I want. Okay, you didn't get the soup, that works for me. You really should have gone on Jessica's, logically, but oh well. Right, she can invest. Okay, well if I roll a one, I'm not going there. For obvious reasons. Okay, I guess I'm getting the heart then. Oh, right, the worst arcade game. And there's a Bowser segment, which I didn't get. Someone is gonna be able to skip the diamond or the club if it's me. Yay, I can skip the club, thank you game. I actually gave myself something good from Dart of Gold for once, rare footage. Elena did the right thing there. too bad though, although my luck is beginning to end because it is trying to get me to pay Jessica's expensive shop, which uh, I'm not doing. And I can't really do anything at the moment, so my network is frozen unless I get a big sale. Well that's actually going to help. I'll take the 480, thank you very much. And I'm nearly at the halfway mark. And I'm fine with Jessica losing money. That's an easy choice. Oh my 
we get three here? Let's do it. Can we get three over here? Now I can make the heart a nightmare as well. Uh, if I get if I land on the 41, I'm not buying it. Yes! Thank you, Elena. Don't think that's enough to make her auction a shop though, sadly. No, and my checkpoint isn't enough either. I'm still not guaranteed to win this game, though, because Jessica is, you know, a threat. And if she gets the district back, that's going to be a 1200 space. Although she did make a bit of a mistake here, she should be focusing on investing as much as she can. And she's heading to the part of the board where she has nothing now. I think I already invested in here, yeah. I'm gonna protect this one as well, just in case Luigi thinks about buying it. Well, you're saying goodbye to a shop, I think. As I think she sold all the stock. Wonderful. Another district of three I could potentially grab. And I will be bidding a lot on this because I have two other properties there. And that could be another place I could invest. Well, that's a lot less than I thought I would bid considering what Jessica did to Elena. She has to auction another one, she's got the worst decision ever. Because she either has to give Luigi a potential district, or me a potential district, or break up her district of five, which she's not going to do, because that would be foolish. And I just realised Elena is using her suit yourself to skip her own section, which is not a good idea. You should never use a suit yourself to skip your own section at all unless you are on the verge of winning. Okay, I'm getting all these stock cards when I don't have any stock. Oh, well, that's not what I wanted. I pressed it three times before it registered as well, which was annoying because I didn't want it to boost Jessica's network. really bought stock. She has 153. It's going to be a bit more now. You should be investing in the 47. Everyone's going to try and skip that property of yours. Oh, she's probably going to buy the shop out. Or she's going to go and invest, one of the two. Well, when I meant buying out, I didn't think you would be buying out from the person in last place who isn't going to be able to invest. That's probably not the best decision for you, Jessica. You could have invested, you could have bought out my shop and got the district back. And Elena's pretty much out the game because of just having to sell all of her properties. Okay, thank you. I really didn't want her to land on that again. Okay, I'm doing this district. I want the, the heart as well to be difficult for them. If I invest in every single district, it makes it significantly harder for them to promote. And then I'll do the, the yellow district next time. I don't need to freeload off Jessica at the moment. 
because she's going to have to get lucky enough to land on mine. And if she's going to try and do a trade, I'm saying no, because I'm in a very strong, I'm in the strongest position, and I don't want to give a district to a competitor, especially when they have way more stock than I do. Although I'm probably going to start being Disney and buy everything out again like I did last time. Which I didn't really buy anything last time, did I? I bought a couple of properties. Just keep making all these really pricey spaces. Oh, I had to crash it. Whoops. I thought it would only be like nine or something. I mean, I'm still going to invest in the last one. No idea where she's investing, honestly, because she's not in a good situation. Yeah, I don't even think she will invest, even if she lands on her own. Yeah, and then the question is, which difficult suit do you want to go for, Elena? Because they're all really rough for you, aren't they? I think the only one that she can get is her own one. I would like Jessica to land on something pricey that I have up there, though. That works. got so many shops on the board, it's insane. I hope that helps, I can just go and bail in this district as well now. Well, I'm not doubting you there, Jessica, I've already seen it happen, but... Yeah, it, it's going to be a night. And as soon as I invest in that other district as well, the yellow one, they're, they're in real big trouble. Although the odds are Jessica's going to invest this turn, so getting to the bank is going to be a little bit more difficult. But they just can't avoid my properties. It's very difficult to keep avoiding all of them. And I could start thinking about taking over District D next as well. Okay, well logically she will go and probably avoid my checkpoint. I don't know actually, I think I'd want to skip the 700. I don't think anyone's going to land on your expensive ones, Jessica, so it could be a lot worse. Okay, that's fine. Don't mind landing on the Boone Square. Hmm, was it a good idea for Elena to go this way? Oh, he could have landed on his balloon because the game lagged a little bit. He really should have. Yeah, and like I said, Jessica, no one landed on your stuff. Yeah, that was a smart decision. I can't follow her there. Uh, I'm skipping the club. From one commission space to another. If I land on that 600, it'll be a bit annoying, but it's not going to be the end of the world. Rip. I definitely made the right call investing in there. That's the second time someone's landed on that. Jessica's probably annoyed with me the whole game. I mean, if the positions were swapped... Actually, no, because I would have invested in the Red District way quicker than she she has.
But the reason why I broke up her district as quickly as I could, because I'm like, I'd rather get that threat neutralized, because that's the only thing that's a problem to me on the board. Like, Elena's district can be an issue, but I don't really need to get another promotion. Okay, I have no idea why she went that direction. Oh, I landed on it. Oh well. It's fine. Yeah, District C this time, I think. I don't even flinch. <laughs> Buys it out. No, that would be a massive throw. Luigi's got to go to the district, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got to go to the same district. I'm pretty sure it's over for Elena. She can't invest, she can't freeload, she only has one suit, and every single other district, except from where the club is, has something that's expensive for her, so there's nothing that she can really do. And when she gets back to the bank, oh, she's got to deal with Jessica's section. Oh, and just so you know, I haven't had to reset this board. This is legitimately my first time playing it. Oh, well, I'm going up here, because I'd rather not risk running into Luigi's. And heck, I could skip Elena's if I get lucky, because the only thing up there that's an issue is the 1000 space. Well, she could get something good from here, and she probably will. She's like 10,000 behind me, so lucky sevens are not out of the question. Yikes. Poor Elena, she can't catch a break. Oh, typical. Oh well. Jessica landed on every single shop in that district, I think, except from the very leftmost one. I land on- I'm, I'm buying the stock. I know I could skip her one, but I really don't care. I can put stock in here as well, and this way when I run out of capital on one of the districts, I can just invest in the other one. Couldn't she have landed on Luigi's closed one? No, she would have got the heart. Nice. Thank you, Luigi. That is what I wanted to see. focus on this district first because I'd rather secure this section as well and if this game didn't or if the target was a lot higher than just 20,000 there is no doubt in my mind that Luigi and Elena would go bankrupt in fact, Jessica most likely would as well, because I would probably buy all their properties. Okay, 
I'm getting a bit concerned because she is stockpiling quite a bit in there. And if she gets to invest, that's going to be a lot of money. Like I said, this game is between myself and Jessica, and I'm not writing Jessica off at all. I'm not closing my shops. I refuse. Especially when the one shop that everyone's been landing on has been that, uh, 900. <laughs> if you won't close your shops, I'll close them for you. Okay, so Jessica gets a free diamond, essentially. Well, maybe, maybe not. She gets a free spade. That one's confirmed. Okay, good. I was hoping I wouldn't land on the... Sleeps well. 73 when all the shops have been bought. Typical. Unlucky. I want 79. That's the card I want the most at the moment. Typical. Jessica, that was a big mistake. You 100% should have invested there. Not worth going in that section at all for you at the moment. caught a break. Thank you for eliminating that card so that nobody else got it. Uh, Jessica, you missed the suit. Also, Elaine has 1,000 shoppers up there. If Jessica lands on that, I would actually be completely happy with that. the last one in District C because no one else is down here. Ooh, Elena's heading in there. But the odds are she's going to roll a 7 or an 8 as she's way behind and honestly she deserves a <laughs> to catch a break. I think my friend will like this board. We played a weird one yesterday, and uh, he didn't really like it, and it's because he got... The game basically bullied him the entire time. I got insanely lucky, and he got insanely unlucky. And when I mean I got insanely lucky, I had the point where the game just gave me a free district really early on, and after that it was over. As soon as I got that free district, it was over. Meanwhile, my friend kept being forced to either pay 300 when he only had about 4,000 net worth and no money, or go around the entire board again. So, he actually ended up just quitting and turning into a computer. Oh, I'm totally buying this out, by the way. If there's anyone who's buying that back, it's Jessica, not you. What? 
Luigi's was cheaper. And you didn't get... You might land on the warp. What was that play? She, oh, she should have gone for Luigi's. I'm not complaining, but I'm just really confused. I hope someone landed on the circus tent, but it's a bit too late. If, Al if Elena lands on that 900, she has to sell a shot. Another throw from Jessica. That's two times you've had a chance to invest and you've just not done it. Someone's going to get to skip the diamond or the club again if it's me. Three diamond for Jessica. Oh, commission. Fine with me. Okay, I'm pretty sure if Elena rolls a free, she has to auction a property. Yep, she does. That's her quote. And that is the other reason why you shouldn't have landed on that. You just gave me a grand for a suit you didn't collect. Pretty lucky, Luigi. You landed on the cheap one. Despite having the roughest start and having to sell most of his properties, Luigi's probably going to get third. Yeah, especially if that happens. And that's good, because it could... You know, I think it's going to force her to crash her stock. Yes, it did. It's more good news for me. I'm rolling low numbers now. Invitation to browse. Yeah, I'll buy the stock. I could land on Jessica's shop, but that's really not a big of a problem anymore. Uh, and it would be it would be just mean to buy that out, and I'm not going to. You okay, Elena? Well, you, you need this to be fair, so I'm not complaining. She needed that badly. I want Jessica to land on one of my expensive shops down there. That would be nice. Or if she lands on that one as well, that would also be good. Reduce her, reduce her position slightly. There's a lot of spaces that she could think. Oh, she landed on Luigi's. That's fine with me. <laughs> that might actually cause Luigi to get second now. Wow, Luigi is now in second place. This way for sure. Right. No, not that one. The lower one. Or probably. No, this one's in danger of getting bought out. Let's do that one first. Because that's a whole district, so if a computer lands on it, they will buy it. Oh, Elena. You cannot catch a break one second, can you? I've pretty much got this game now. I know I could jinx it, but I don't see anyone else winning, especially with Jessica just landing on Luigi's 1000, and she could land on one of mine. If she lands on one of mine, it's basically decided. I'm honestly glad that she landed on Luigi's, because that just made her lower her stock price even more.
Okay. Well. I have been extremely lucky this round, and it's been very nice. I usually don't get this lucky when I come when it comes to this game, but this has genuinely been one of the biggest boards, or, or biggest rounds where I've had insanely good luck. And I can just invest and win the game. Pretty sure the target's twenty thousand. Yes, it is. I think the best decision I made, though, was buying out Jessica's district or breaking it up. Because if it wasn't for that, there is a fairly high chance that she would- and now that she can land on it, it's too late. There is a very high chance that if it wasn't for that, she most likely would have had the more threatening district and it would have delayed me getting promotions. The only time I landed on one of her shops there that was somewhat expensive was when it didn't matter. Like, when I had 16,000 net worth, the 600 really wasn't that big of a deal. Sadly, because Jessica got back to the bank, I think Luigi is actually going to get her third place after all, but... He did well to catch back up, honestly, because I was going... I thought he was going to get last for most of the game. Especially because Elena had this district up here. Again, if I get some low rolls and Luigi gets to invest, he could overtake her at the last second. They are only 300 apart. No, I think I just won. Yeah, I'm just gonna go win the game. I know if I delayed, Elena could have bankrupted, but I'd just rather end the game. But, yeah. That round went heavily in my favour, to the point where it looked like I was cheating, like the computers did. That was horrendously rigged in my favour, I cannot lie. I was 53 off of getting a gold stock supremo. But yeah, Jessica was actually a threat for once. She just made a couple of misplays near the end, where she, uh really should have invested rather than trying to go for suits and again if my friend was in that situation he would have invested over going for the suits which you 100% should and just want to say something about that if you're in a situation where you have like 200 stock and you need to get a suit in a certain section like that but you can invest always go for the investment you will gain way more money than the promotion if you dump 999 into a shop and then pump it up you also get an expensive store that someone could land on so in that situation for jessica that was the biggest mistake that she could have made if the game gives you a chance to invest when you don't have that many properties you need to take it But yeah, that was a, a very fun round for me to play, mostly because of how lucky I got. So, what is the next board? Because there aren't that many gorgeous king boards, because most of them just came back from other games. Next time it is Floating Continent, which is the troll board that I mentioned. That one will probably annoy me. I shall see you guys tomorrow for Floating Continent. <laughs>